Hey everybody, it's Esteban82, I am back, and uh, as I mentioned last time, there's a mob, mob, mod I am using, god damn it brain, uh, which you're gonna start seeing in a lot of stuff I'm recording, I believe, and what this mod does is it allows for any shape or size nether portals. Um, there's a lot more that you can do with it, but I'll be goddamned if I remember any of it off the top of my head. Aside from, you know, you can actually link various portals together, one with another. That way you can, uh... Nice, I'll take the bucket. I might want to pick up some lava while I'm there. What the hell? Okay. I thought that pick had disappeared. For, or that, uh, diamond pick had disappeared. Alright, so let's give this a shot. I haven't actually traveled through here yet. I don't know what the portal on the other side is going to look like, so this could be awkward. Alright, I'm... Okay, it's a standard nether portal. Oh god, lag. Alright, glowstone would be nice. It's not a priority. We have light sources. Mmm, laggy. Netherrack isn't really a priority either. We can get it. I kind of wanted to see if there were any of the, um, or if any of the mods had blatantly affected, uh, nether generation. Hmm. Well, I'm seeing a lot of shit, but I'm not seeing anything new, which is a shame. Somewhere around here there's a ghast. I don't like that. <laughs> Also hoping to spot another fortress. I would like all those lovely, lovely resources. And I gotta remember to hold shift, because I know I'm up high, so I don't know when I'm gonna fall to my doom. Doom! I like the word doom. The elongated vowel sounds in it amuse me. I don't really need the nether crap. Doom is fun. Any word with double O's in it is fun. It's the ooh. Where in the hell am I even going? I think I'm lost. In a ceiling somewhere. I'm probably gonna run out of pick in general shortly. The hell? Oh. Oh, hey. Well, there's some uh, nether bacon. I can use the hell out of that. I'm gonna keep an eye out for that ghasty. Do not want to suddenly discover him. Be like hovering above my head, just watching me, sniffing my hair, you know, petting it as I sleep. All right. Hmm. Let's see. What's this? Uh, nothing. There's very little, if anything. It's a shame. I can't... I have no idea if, um... I'll have to double-check the mods to see what they do and don't generate. This is a mistake, really, coming out this far, but... The Nether Bacon will eventually be able to make solar panels, which will, uh, come in handy, I suppose. Not sure how, but probably will. Alright, eh. Besides, maybe I can find the nether fortress from up here. Fuck! Well, time to leave. Where the fuck was it even? I don't even see it. My render distance is on far. Oh, there it is. Assholes! Alright, well, I'm alive. That's what's the most important, really. Get some more of this. It also makes pretty decorative blocks, but not that useful in the grand scheme of things. Okay, that's a death pit. I decided to dig through the top first. Uh, hi, zombie pig. Man, I didn't hit you. You don't need to turn on me as an entire people. It's like telling an off color joke. You annoy one of them, and all of them come after you. Of course, in both situations it's usually entirely justified because you're either insulting someone or you know attacking them with a sword so it seems fair that everyone would attack the shit out of you I mean, just call me wacky but 
It's my opinion in the matter. All right, this, uh, no, this isn't the holy dog up there, I guess. Oh, well, let's, let's get this bacon ore. All right, um, when the hell did I come out? I thought it was here. Um. Shit. Alright, well. Time to run. Hold shift and run. Hold shift and run. Okay. Ah, oh, fuck. Alright, this way now. Hope I don't run out of pick. I hear the portal. Somewhere in a direction. I want to assume it might be down. But well, there goes that. Um, I don't think I have any real alternative but to head back and try and find the hole through which I got here. Which is right there. God damn it. Well, I, I survived. This is what's important, of course. Alright, let's get the hell out of here. We can get nether resources if we need to. Really? We can get nether resources if we need to. That's what's important. I'm gonna cover up this opening, said the inventor of pants. Alright, let's... And that's pretty much why one would go about doing it. I don't care about moral claw or moral reasoning or whatever you want to say. Someone went, I want my butthole safe. Or my wang. Or both. Because there are certain things you, you don't want exposed to the elements. Or, you know, anything. Or anyone, for that matter. Let's head back through and see what happens. I somehow suspect, huh? Well, do you know, it actually worked properly. All right, awesome. Oh god, it's nighttime. Run. Wait. Okay. Well, that's right. Shit that just walks through another portal can now uh can now spawn or get into the real world. I think it'll burst into flame when it's daytime. Let's check. No, what? Maybe? Are you gonna are you gonna burst into flame? I guess not. All right. Well, I'm gonna call you Irving. Thanks, Irving. I've been without company for a very long time, but I'm gonna have to send you home. You asshole! Go back through that portal. You don't belong here. We don't want your kind around these parts. Zombies, not pigmen. I'm not racist, I'm just, you know, I guess, well, I'm trying to think what the proper term, someone who's anti-dead, I guess that would be, uh, let me see, life is a vita, that would be vitist, yeah, that makes enough sense, I guess, yeah, I'm vitist, I only want people with vital signs. But, um, the other things we can do with this, once we have enough resources... Why am I chopping these down? I don't actually even need to chop them down yet. Aside, well, actually, I should probably chop them down because of apples, but... How is our farm doing up here? God. I keep forgetting about the damn resources that I'm trying to manage. Uh, it's got a long way to go. Alright, I'm gonna actually cut the fire this down, though, because it will... Uh, encourage monster spawning when we... I, I personally believe you should not encourage monsters to spawn. It gives them ideas above their station, I suppose. Like, they're an integral part of the Minecraft experience. When what they really are are dicks. And, uh, I, I don't want them thinking that, you know, we love them or anything. Unless we find a mob spawner, we can turn into a trap. In which case... I definitely love these bastards. Uh, and I've still managed... Uh, the, where, with the gate that size, I actually still have three pieces of obsidian left. If I cut down the corners, I'll actually be most of the way to... 
Well, I'll need a diamond, but I'll be most of the way to a uh, crafting table. I'll need books, too. I don't even think I have sugar cane yet. I'll have to check the chest. But if I do, then... Yeah, I can start working on that, because... An enchanting table is probably going to be something very useful for this game. Well, it's something useful for every Minecraft game. Good job. Really? I probably forgot to put in the... Oh, uh, I deleted the, um... File that made... Or that stopped it from doing equivalent damage. That's fine, I'll just put that back in. I don't care. Put all this shit in here. Alright. Let's see, what resources... I don't need this bucket anymore. What resources do I have? Um, one iron. Alright, I'm gonna... Make a bunch of picks. I guess I should... There you go. Um, I guess I should bring the diamond one. But I think I might want to, uh... Go explore a Phaeton a little bit. But, you know, that's just my opinion. How the hell did those sticks pop back in? I thought I had made a whole bunch. I, I probably just miscalculated the amount of sticks I brought. Alright, um, we've been every direction, I think. Yeah, so I'm just gonna head south. Well, I'm gonna... I'm going to leave irreplaceable tools behind right now. Uh, what can I, I'll take some apples. Oh, we do have sugar cane. All right, well, we'll work on that some later so we can start getting bookcases. Yeah, but if I take down the corners, we'll have enough. Well, I'll have to just take down one corner, and we'll have enough of that for a table. But what I want to see if I can find is if, in a straight line anywhere, one of those orbs is easy enough to get to. Okay. So I've been this way in a straight line. I think this is the way that eventually ends in a dungeon. That's fine. It'll actually help make it easier for us to find our way back. Now that one is... Hmm. That one's kind of close. Alright, there's part of a giant dungeon over there. There's another bald sheep. What the hell? Oh. I was wondering what the hell happened to the bridge. Yes, thank you, sheep. Thank you for your astute information. Okay. Um, there's a big cave system right close to the underground there. I'm sure of it. Hmm. Oh, yeah, we'll head in a straight line. Because one of these will eventually... Um, I didn't bring anything to use for, like, safety purposes, or climbing purposes. That is a lot of damn sheep. I just started to use flint and steel on the pig. That would have been dumb. That would have been extraordinarily dumb. That's what I'm going to do. It should at least protect them somewhat. They're not... They're not exactly bright, but they might be useful to me later. Let's see, there's probably zombies all over the inside of this place. I'll cut down a few more trees through the center to make travel safe and sane. Oh. Eh. This is why I started making these episodes half an hour long. I think, uh, the time between anything happening in this particular set of mods is going to be difficult. If it gets too boring, I might start over with one of the other, uh, bio or world generation types. There are a lot of them. I was thinking maybe fantasy. That could be fun. Take this down too. That way I can see one side from the other side. Wasting a lot of time, but you know, that's what you do. Alright. Eh. No, one train in the middle that I apparently fucking missed. God damn. Wait. I should have taken some 
like a lot of coffee before I en uh, ended up playing. I've had a really, really a uh, bunch of uh, shitty sleep, and that's coming from me, someone for whom sleep is usually an option. Uh, but you know, this is bad sleep from a cr er, bad sleep from the opinion of someone who is you know a chronic insomniac. All right, yeah, this is where the dungeon is. All right, so this is a good place to remember because, I mean, well, look, we know we can't head that way. It's a good mark. That's, oh, yeah, there's that up there. We can't get at that, unfortunately. Hi, everything. I'm going to head this way because this is the direction the spiders aren't. Run faster. Run faster. The double tap is a bit awkward sometimes. Alright, let's head this way. Let's see what there is. Eh. I'm hoping to find some of the other types of uh, strange or unique structures. I guess I'm going to have to head in straight lines, so. Hey, tree skeleton. Um, I'm going to have to head in straight lines to make sure I can find my way back. Switch to the sword. Yeah. If I get lost in this, I'm pretty much done. I mean, I'm well. I'm pretty much making a new home. Oh wow, that's one of the really big things. That is a house in the sky. It is full of blaze spawners. I I remember that. Ooh, slime. Ow. Need slime balls. I haven't built anything with pistons yet, but oh god, how wonderful it will be to have slime balls on hand. No, of course, all the all the contraptions I build for the purpose of um, I got turned around there, and I'm not sure what direction I came from. I think this is the direction. Of, no, wait. I think this is the direction. No, wait. Um, I don't know. Maybe this. Um, let's get some slime balls as we try to figure out what direction is the direction we came from. I think this one? Yeah. Maybe it is time we head back because it's getting dark. Let's have an apple. Have an apple. I mean, slime balls are a good resource. There's no... No real complaining about having found those. Unless you're a communist or something, but other than that. Alright, yeah, that's where the, um, that's where the thingy is. Man, maybe I should look for a teleportation mod. That way I can put things like, well, you know, once I have the resources to build them. I know there's the Team Fortress 2 teleporters, but due to the extreme lack of, because like, every resource is rare in this particular mod. I mean, all of them. Uh, normally you can just dig around and you'll find everything, but of course you're digging from a normal height down to bedrock. And, you know, shit isn't in balls. Oh god. Speaking of balls, it is way darker than I had wanted it to be. Let's get the balls out of here. Run, run me. Run as fast as me can. You can do it, Steve. Oh, God. Please let those be sheep. Okay, those are sheep. I thought I was running straight towards enemies. Eh. Well, I suppose sheep can be an enemy if... You know, you're not Irish. Eh. Or... Oh, God. Depending on who you ask, either Irish, Scottish, or from New Zealand, or Australia. It is definitely the cultural insult is to call someone a sheep shagger. But now, like I've said many times, I still think, why is it, why, isn't it kind of the sheep that are the sluts if this is the case? Because apparently everyone's shagging them. Ah, oh, fuck. Fuck you, spider. Aw, oh, man, there's another one up there. Oh fuck. Endermen everywhere. And there's another... No, that's a plant. Okay. 
I made mistakes along the way. Somewhere. Turn this down every now and then so that I can see. I'm almost back. Oh. Ow. Come on. No. No. Thank you for giving me distance. No, fuck. No, take out the bridge. Yes! That may have been, you know, a life-saving creeper. Okay. Well. I mean, we may never be able to travel in that direction again. Until we build the bridge, obviously. I mean, it's not like I am incapable of building a one-block thick, what, four-block wide platform? I'm pretty sure even with my resounding incompetence, I'm capable of that. Let's head back and see how much damage was done. Uh, barely any, really. Let's repair it here, then. Damn it. Eh. Come on. There. Man, I am shot all full of holes, aren't I? Damn it. Alright, let's see. Did anything... Alright, there's still a creeper over there. Alright, well sure, why not? I don't even give a damn. I do need to start torching these uh, walkways, though. Uh-huh, bones. Bones are good. Um, yeah, let's go... Start gathering the resources, because the walkways getting destroyed is rather, um, rather a bad thing for us. Ooh, more bones. Of course, now bones don't work as well as they used to, as they tend not to with age. Speaking from experience here. Of course, I've still been damn lucky enough to, uh, have never broken any major bones or anything. Or bones at all, as far as I know. And I say as far as I know because I'm pretty sure that I have broken bones without knowing about it. A lot of people out there, you know, are going, how the hell is that even possible? And the answer is, you're not a guy, that's how, because yeah, my toe hurts. Stop being a pussy. Okay. Because that's what the response... Eh, that's the only thing you can really respond with. You're taught, pretty much, to just not whine. Alright, let's see. Uh, my toe hurts. Walk it off. Uh, okay. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna go... Torch these, and I think I'm gonna build walls around this side with doors in them. I'll, uh, I'll worry about the doors in a bit. But yeah. Well, let me put that way. That there where I can actually reach it. Two. Three. And yeah, I'll, uh, I'll fucking over torch everything forever. I said, I've actually had friends comment recently on, you know, how they find my torching interesting because it is so overly cautious. It's hilarious. It, it's a, I only need, like, one torch every, like, eight blocks to keep mobs from spawning. But I'm, like, every other block sometimes, sometimes every three blocks. And I call that cowardice. And without any, you know, shadow of, you know, trying to hide it as being some form of you know, caution. It's it's caution, but it's also cowardice. Also making these things. Uh, I'm probably going to put steps on here eventually. Just because I want it to... Uh, all... To be easy to run across. In, you know, said acts of cowardice. Or, you know, uh, said aforementioned... Afore, the aforementioned act of cowardice. There we go. I know I could form words eventually if I just tried really hard. Alright. Like I said, I, I, sometimes I wonder how much of this is interesting to people or not. Because, you know, 
like, ah, there are a lot of, like you say, really famous YouTubers, really big names out there, where every time they come back, they're like, yeah, and off camera, I found this stack of, you know, like, 18 or 20 or 25 diamonds that just happened to have been blah. It's like, that's a really great idea. Where's the giant crater that you got those diamonds from? You know, I know how hard it is to find diamonds, or, you know, a few diamonds in a standard map. That does not, you know, at all mean, where did, you know, where's the huge asshole in the ground? All right. All right, yeah, I don't know. All right, I'm going to light up this bridge fully. Actually, I think lighting it on that side will be enough. I'm going to, well, first, let me build a crafting table, because when in doubt, build a crafting table. Put that away, eh. Let's make a couple doors. Oh, how I wish you could stack fucking doors. Alright. That is one of my, uh... I mean, I know, yeah, there are mods that let you stack just about any damn thing in Minecraft, but you know what I mean. Alright. Eh. Yeah, and now, if I get stuck, I should at least be able to get onto this bridge and use it for safety. I'll uh, take this with me. I can never leave a good crafting table behind. It goes against my moral code. Alright. We'll head. Eh. Man, that place below me is just full of monsters. It's probably why I'm not seeing very many up here. I mean... So far, well, I probably should door that up, just to be sure. Alright. Let's dooring. Let's door in. Aha, literary reference. No one cares. Well, actually, it's not really a literary reference, because we're putting up a picture. Ha <laughs> ha, no one still cares. And no one gets it either. Well, actually, quite a few of my viewers probably do, because you guys are all pretty damn smart and definitely readers. Yeah, I'm, uh, I used to be a reader, but after a while, the horrible dyslexia just kind of makes you go, you know what, I don't need to learn from books anymore. And that's that's what it is. I mean, I'll, I will reread one page three or four times before I actually understand it, and... I think it was attempting to read War and Peace, which for some reason I thought was a good idea in the first place. But, uh, second of all, I was actually trying to do for fun, which proved I was probably, you know, stoned or something at the time. But, um, no, it's just, you know, there's, there's uh, nothing awesome about being that dyslexic, because it is, uh, I don't care, I've read that once. Let me start reading it the second time so I know what I read. I need, I actually need that wood that I was using there. There we go. Eh. Alright. Um. I can just do this to get away. Alright. Good enough. Good enough. Yeah. Alright. I'm trying to think of anything interesting to talk about. I know I'm not always good at it. Actually, I'm never good at it, but still. Still cows down there. It'd be easier to take out this one. Oh, I need to keep those cows alive if I can. Well, there goes that axe. How can I get you down off of there, Monsieur Moo Moo? Oh god. Well, that was how. Alright. That, uh, that merely made me crap myself in fear, but hey, that's cool. Fear crapping is a sign of a healthy, uh, colon. I think. I'm gonna say it is. Mm. 
Uh, almost done for the day, but I, I still want to... Especially these cows. These cows are a very, very valuable resource on this map. I want to make sure that they are safe, because there's a, you know, about a 20% chance that every other cow in this game has already walked off of a cliff somewhere. And they're probably not, because I'm not actually in the chunk they're in, which means I don't think they act. Go down there and wall off this door real quick to... Ah, uh, lag. Keep myself safe. Alright. Uh, uh, uh. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Eh. 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 We can probably... Alright, this is good. We're gonna lay down torches. Quickly. And then we're gonna get the hell out of here and call it. Oh, God damn it. Torches, don't fail me now. Don't fail me at all. I'm gonna close this door to make sure shit doesn't, you know, sneak the hell up on me. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twelve. Okay. There are two cows here. This is a good resource to have on hand. I'm not gonna ignore their existence. Especially because eventually I'm going to want uh, leather for various or various, you know, crafting projects. Those books I want to make will, of course, require the leather. I forgot that they require leather now. That uh, makes me a little sad, but at the same time, you know, that kind of makes sense. Like, oh, I had torches. It's like, damn you for being slightly more accurate, Minecraft. Damn you. Huh, this looks like it should be safe, but that other side of the bridge is damn dark. Maybe worth it to over torch here just because cows. No, oh well. No over torch here, but anyway. Eh. Damn it, damn it. It takes forever. Eh. I will be safe. I mean, I've guaranteed that damn, or this area will be safe. I, I have no care about the waste of resources. Oop. As long as uh, I have cows and it'll also be another food source. Eh. All right. Back out. Close the door. Run. Yep, there's a creeper over there. That is not good. But hey, we made it. I still need to light this place up really badly. But uh, we're going to run back into the damn house. And we've almost got this thing secured. That's what's important. We're going to have... Um, I don't think, yeah, nothing spawned on that bridge. Nothing should spawn on the other bridge. Anyway, once this place secure, er, is secure, we're going to start looking into building ourselves a better housing you know, or better housing, better farming, etc., etc. So, till next time, guys, thanks for watching, and peace out.